Hey guys, Darwin here. In this video, I wanna talk about Tesla V3 solar glass roof. I wanna talk about why I decided to get it, what the install process was like, and finally, what my review is of the roof in the two weeks that I've had it installed. So there are two main reasons for someone to go ahead and upgrade from a regular roof to a solar glass roof or a roof with solar panels. The first reason would be if your roof was just deteriorating and it was on, the, on its last legs. This was my roof. It was really bad. It, was, it just needed a replacement. The second reason to get a new roof or a solar glass roof specifically would be if you wanted to generate solar electricity. Now, if you live in a warm environment or a warm climate that gets a lot of sun like I do in Southern California, the sun can literally reduce your energy costs to zero. And then another reason is to flex on your neighbors, obviously. But seriously, I've been getting nothing but compliments from my neighbors, stopping me every time I'm in my front yard, telling me how they love the roof, how they love the look, and how professional the crew was while they were working on the house. Oh, thanks, yeah, it just got installed last week, so it's pretty nice. Yeah, so it's actually made by Tesla, the uh, car company. You know, every chance I get to spread the Tesla gospel. So when Tesla announced the solar roof, it was my dream to actually have the power generation to power my Tesla Model 3 all in the same place by the sun. This seemed like the best idea. Is to make, have, have electric, or, you know, solar roofs that look better than a uh, normal roof, generate electricity, have, last longer, have better insulation, um, and actually have a cost, an installed cost that is less than a normal roof plus the cost of electricity. When Elon Musk started tweeting that version 3 solar roof was going to be a lot more affordable, this finally got my hopes up and I was just waiting for it. When I got my house in 2019, I knew it needed a roof. And I knew that I wanted to just wait for the Tesla solar roof no matter what. Because this roof already needed replacing, it just makes sense to replace it with the solar roof and be done with it and not have to deal with solar panels. This was a huge risk because I knew that it was gonna be a rainy season and the winter was gonna be a really, really hard time on the current roof. Every time it rained, pieces of the roof would literally fall off the roof and there will be a bunch of asphalt pieces on the ground after it rained. I'm totally surprised that it didn't cause leakage in the house, but luckily it didn't. So after much anticipation, Tesla finally installed solar glass roof in May of this year. Ordering the solar glass roof was extremely easy. All I needed to do was go on the website, punch in my address, and they gave me a quote right away. I ordered the solar roof in October, and in January, they finally sent out a technician in order to do finalized measurements. So installation finally took place in May, and it was most likely pushed back because of all the shutdowns that we had. So since installation started, it took them about a month to finish. Tesla took care of everything during this installation process. They upgraded my electric panel, they raised my roof riser, they dismantled the old roof, as well as repaired many parts of the old roof because of water damage, dry rot, and other things. Recently, I just passed inspection and I should be allowed to operate generating solar power in about a week after my utility company approves my net metering application. Now, I must give a shout out to the Tesla team that showed up every single day. They showed up on time, they worked hard, they were diligent, they were extremely meticulous in installing the roof, and they, they were just an extremely hard working crew. So hats off to um, Edgar and your crew, I really appreciate it, you guys are the best. I even got neighbors telling me how great the crew was. So Tesla's team was grade A, coming out here and installing the roof and doing everything themselves. Now, I thought it was really interesting that Tesla actually sends out their own employees to install this roof. I thought they were gonna subcontract some of it out, but no, Tesla did everything. They always pulled up in a Tesla energy truck, everything from drywall patching to stucco, fixing to everything, they were employees of Tesla. They were most likely from the solar city portion of the team, but it's still really cool to have one contractor take care of everything from the electrical to the roof, to the construction, to the, the fixes, to the drywall, everything was done by Tesla. Now for the roof itself, it looks absolutely stunning. It's all glass, it's all metal, it's sleek, it's smooth. No doubt the longevity would be much greater than a regular shingle roof. The house 
it actually feels cooler. Now, the roof is actually raised up a bit to allow for wiring to go underneath the tiles. So this actually creates a layer of air insulation about an inch and a half because it's raised off the OSB or the uh, underlayment of the roof. So it's actually much cooler. Natural air insulation is most likely one of the best insulations there is. So now, even though we put on a dark roof, I believe it is cooler and it feels that way in the summer. I have not been able to turn on the system yet, but my solar roof is supposed to be able to generate about 10,233 kilowatt hours per year. By my calculations, this is more energy than we use if we started to charge all my electric cars at home. We don't really run the AC all the time, and currently we're charging the car at a public station for free. But when we start generating energy, I will be able to charge my car at home and not have to drive all the way out to the, the charging station and back. The installers were testing out the system and they actually left it on for a few days. So during this time, my roof was actually generating electricity whenever the sun was out. So I took a look at my SoCal Edison bill and I saw that during times when the sun was out, my electricity usage was reduced to zero. Unfortunately, the Tesla worker came by and turned off the system right before an inspection and told me to wait for the utility company to approve it before I could turn it back on. So that's been my review and my installation process on the Tesla solar roof. I'm so happy that I got this roof. It was a great purchase, it was a great buy decision. So you might be asking, should I get a solar roof on my house? Well, the answer is a little bit complicated. You should definitely get a solar roof if you were planning to replace your roof and get solar panels. You should probably not replace your roof with the solar roof if your roof is just fine and you just get solar panels put on top. Tesla has really great solar roof leasing and buying programs right now, so definitely check those out and weigh the cost. If you enjoyed this content, please give me a like in the video and subscribe for additional content about my roof. I do plan to make additional videos giving updates about my roof as well as my Tesla Model 3 and then the integration of both of them working together. If you do want to see how I traded in my wearable drive Tesla Model 3 for an all-wheel drive Tesla Model 3 and made money doing it, please click on this video right here. Please use my referral link in the description below if this video has helped you in any way make a decision about Tesla Solar or Tesla Vehicles. We can both get $250 if you use the referral link. If you don't use the referral link, you'll get, you get nothing and I get nothing. If you have any questions at all about solar products or even Tesla in general, I'll be happy to answer them in the comments below. I'll, I promise I'll reply to every single comment. So go ahead and ask away and I'm happy to help you guys. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, some more drone videos. Enjoy.